Hi everyone, this week's toy hunt is at Walmart. I will probably stop by Five Below as well. And in the front section, they actually do have Pokemon cards, which is very, very rare at Walmarts around me, but they even have the new Paldia collection boxes, as well as these mystery boxes. I think you get random packs inside. And then some tins, some decks. Down the doll aisle, this Walmart always has a huge doll section, which is pretty cool. They have all, it looks like all the new Shadow High dolls. They even have going way back to the costume party dolls that came out for, for Halloween. And then there's this cool Bratz collection doll. Oh, look at the, the fancy charms it comes with. I like the packaging. It's a big box, but that's cool. I don't know if they will make the whole line of dolls. They just have that one. We also have some mermaids, LOL surprise. I know a lot of you told me about the cereal boxes that are coming out. Uh, they do have the series two mini sweets, but I would love to see the, the cereal ones. I'm just glad they went for a whole mini food theme. I think they did such a great job with the LOL mini sweets. They moved their monster high section to the middle of the aisle and they have this cool Draculaura set. It comes with the little coffin closet accessories. I love her bat headband. A different outfit. Very cute. This is my first time seeing this one in person. And some accessories for you to wear, including the little bat, bat ears. <laughs> That's cute. And they don't have too much in terms of the creepover stuff. They also have some Squishville Alf Mao up here. More of the mystery meows. Or me meows, my bad. And then the dodo plushies. I've seen these before too. I've never opened them. They're little little fierce plushies. I love the dodo plush, that the actual one. That's that's very cute. And then we have some pop art soft elephants. They have the comic art one, the cute little cake one or dessert one, as well as the peanuts. And then some blind bags. These are so colorful and such a good price. I love the bean bag elephants. I know a lot of you do too. Oh they make them in a medium size. Oh, that's interesting. These are bigger than the blind bag ones. So you can, you know, select the designs you you like or try your luck at the blind bags. Very cute. <laughs> Walmart also has a lot of just random small blind bag mystery plush. They have this Happy Fortune World one. They have these plant ones, which I think comes with like a seedling you can grow, which is a really cute idea. They also have the marshmallow ones. And then in terms of squishmallows, we have we have a bunny rabbit. We have a very fluffy dog. The hammerhead shark. So cute. <laughs> and a random gumball machine plush. Not a squishmallow, but he cute. <laughs> lots of plushies. Lots and lots of new plushies. Ooh, and then the Squishville squad set has a new set as well. I love the little toadstool. That's fun. We have that orange, there's a frog there. And for the Versus world, they have a couple blind bags as well as Care Bears. And the baby Care Bears, oh, I've been looking for those. Ooh, and then the small little mini Care Bear plushies. I've seen pictures of these on Instagram, but I've never saw them in person. So they have two different ones and it looks like there's just five to collect. I'm surprised there's no Tender Heart Bear. But they're cute. They're they're a very very cute size. I I definitely like the size there. And we have some new iHeart VIP pets as well as the mini Nana Na surprise dolls are back in stock. And they have some of the Make It Mini food. The the small series, which I forget, is it diner? Is it cafe? I think it's the cafe is the smaller one. These are like the 6.99 ones, the breakfast ones. There's a lot of drinks in there too. But it's good to see them kind of making their way back into stock in, in stores. I also have the My Little Ponies. Um, I like those mini ones. We saw the bus at Target last week. They have a section of Karma's World dolls and play sets. And then it looks like they moved the Disney dolls to this section as well. In back of the doll aisle, they have like the mini brand section. So they have the foodie mini brands. Love the little mini subway. They have the second series of Disney Store, they have the third series of Toy Mini Brands, so it looks like Walmart has, has all your mini brands needs. <laughs> 
In the next aisle over, they have the new Cutitos Fashion Puppy Itos, as well as the cookies and those little cat things with the tail sticking out. I haven't, I'm tempted to try these, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of plushies with clothes, I don't think, but you can dress them up, which is kind of a, a neat accessory idea. Ooh, they have some of the new Real Littles. They have the Rapunzel one. I am so on the hunt for the Sanrio Real Littles. That looks awesome. There's a lot of cuties, and it looks like Hatchimals is all on rollback. Yeah, I had a feeling Hatchimals kind of kind of was on its way out, or at least with the series it's on, but cool to see. And they actually have some of the Real Littles Micro Crafts. This is my first time finding them at Walmart. They have the light box, which I haven't done that one before, which looks pretty cool. They also have the Fizz Bomb, and they're still the same price, the $9.99 at Walmart. So they put them in with like the Real Littles and Shopkins stuff in that section down the Disney Adorable aisle. Which actually they're quite quite picked over, but they do have these plushies. I just like the Alice in Wonderland set. They look cool, but um, I don't know. I would want the whole set. <laughs> that's that's dangerous. They have the fur by the foot as well as the magic mixie. So it looks like they have a lot of the mixlings from series two. They even have that. I think it's a Walmart exclusive cauldron up there, which is cool because the colors really do match the Series 2 mixlings. Awesome. And I was wondering where these were, but on the end cap, they have a ton of the Color Surprise Magic Mixies, and I love these plushies. Looks like they have all of them. Again, go by the eye color and symbol. Um, here's the little snowflake one with the pink pink eyes. So, yeah, they have everybody in stock, but definitely check the end cap, and it's the end cap in back, at least at my... On to the action figure section. They have a couple new Fortnite figures. That alien looks pretty cool. They have the pug guy with the food truck. <laughs> I don't know their actual names. And then some other characters. So I find that the action figure aisle is always kind of hit or miss in terms of what's being stocked. They have Naruto. They have some of the flip plushy heads for Five Nights at Freddy's. I like how someone put all the nightmare animatronics or maybe that's how they come in the box but you can flip them and it's like the regular ones the nightmare ones do look pretty cool oh look at the poppy figure that's pretty neat and then they just have some of the tie-dye i know the the balloon series uh looks really cool i'm kind of excited for those action figures we actually found the target exclusive funko pops of balloon freddy and balloon bonnie and wow that um that plushie's kind of spooky. <laughs> and then in the Transformers section, they have more of um, the Yumi plush. They actually have Optimus. So it looks like maybe those those three characters. If they made a Starscream plush, I would be very, very tempted to buy it. And Five Below's next. I haven't filmed here in a while. It's been like since Valentine's Day, which is um, too long. <laughs> so let's see what Five Below has. In front, they're getting ready for like Easter baskets in spring. They have this really cool display of Cabbage Patch Kids minifigures, as well as some Gudetama blind boxes. There's some Squishville Squishmallows. I was hoping to find some Sanrio minifigures, but I don't. I don't see them here. Then we have the Squishmallows, which are always such a good find at Five Below. They have the cute gazelle and the moose. Oh, the moose has a fuzzy belly. The banana slug. I think these ones, oh, the cute little bug with the shell. Um, I think these ones came out a couple, a week and a half or so ago. So I'm going to dig through these and see what, what ones we can find. On the Funko M cap, they have a great variety of Funko plushies, the cereal boxes, as well as Freddy Frostbear. Not too many Funko Pops this time, but definitely a lot of plushies. Oh my goodness, they have a ton of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, including the Walmart exclusive Pirate Foxy. What? I paid like $12.99 for mine, but those, those are good deals. Definitely stocked with the Funko plushies. In the anime section, they have some Spy Family blind bags. I know that's also a pretty popular series. 
so nice variety. And oh my goodness, guys, Five Below has the Bear vs. Donuts. Yes, I've only found mine at Walmart, and the Walmart we were just at did not have them. So yes, I'm glad Five Below has these. And I ran to the <laughs> to the Bears vs. Donuts, but here's a look at the rest of the blind bags. It's a pretty small section. They do have those little squishums from Squishville. Those are fun. Those are really cute. As well as these like ice cream scoop plushies. I've never opened them. They've been around for a while. And then some other figures. I'm always on the hunt for anything like new that I can do a series on. <laughs> but not too much down the aisles, more on the end caps. Okay, I'm back home from my toy hunt. The rest of the video is a haul, and I'm glad I went to both stores. I didn't buy too many items at Walmart, but they did have some new things, which is so cute. I picked up the little mini Good Luck Bear, and I saw pictures of these on Instagram, and then finding them in person. They are very small and adorable, and it looks like it's just these five. I would really love to get Grumpy Bear. And these were like $3.97, which is a great price for something so small and cute. <laughs> and also at Walmart, I picked up two of the new Super Happy Fortune World mini collectible plush blind boxes. Look how cute that is. This is going to be a plushy haul now that I'm looking at what I've purchased. But they're all shaped like little fortune cookies. And there's a bunch in the series, including a rare gold one. So I thought they looked cute. I would really like that little chicken one. <laughs> And these were $4.98, so I thought that was a pretty good price. And then Five Below happened, which I already know if I go to Five Below, I need to, to watch what I budget, which is why I didn't spend too much at Walmart. But I love their Squishmallow drops, and I was able to find the cute little beetle. I think he's about a week and a half ago or so th these came out. Um, there was a lot of bugs in the series, so we have Axel. And what's really cool, it's hard to tell on camera, but this purple part has a shiny fabric to it. It's definitely a little bit of a different texture, but it's to mimic the, the shiny beetle wings. And look at how cute that is. Okay, he's, he's really cute. I do love little bug plushies. I've always loved like the bug LPS as well. And then I had to pick up the banana slug because <laughs> they are just so cute. I do love slugs in real life and the banana slug is adorable. Such a bright yellow and her name is Zarina. She likes to go to museums, according to her story, which is also absolutely adorable. So those were the two Squishmallows, and those are like the $5.95 ones that Five Below has. There was a lot of cuties, though. And then the next items I originally found at Walmart, but when I filmed at this one, they didn't have these. But then Five Below came, came into the rescue, and I found more of the Bears vs. Donuts blind bags. These are so adorable. I did a $10 Tuesday on these. I picked up, oh my goodness, I think I picked up five or six of these. So we have a lot of Bears vs. Donuts. I absolutely adore this new series of the vs. World. Definitely check out this video. They will win you over. I And I love both pretty equally. But look at this donut. It looks so happy. And then the cute little bears. They they did yet another great fun job with the whole the whole series. And then the last two items I purchased at Five Below are not plushies, but there's a little animal theme to them. I found these Cabbage Patch Cutie Town figures, and it looks like Five Below is definitely stocking their front section for like Easter or springtime. And they had these. Oh my goodness, look how cute that cow is! And some of them were like holding items, but I picked up this little purple giraffe. Who looks adorable and then I also purchased this monkey I love monkeys and they're holding a banana and for five dollars these are really nicely done figures I feel like I found like a gift pack at Walmart during the holidays but I've never seen these sold separately so that's cool because they had a oh, let's piece of my hair they had a ton of different animals and you can just kind of select the ones you're you're interested in but very cute overall so there you have it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful in your own shopping. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.